Flow Simulation 2012 introduces several new features to help out engineers working in the HVAC industry. Let's take a look inside this chemistry lab to see how a fire on this hot plate affects the air quality of the room. Available for the HVAC module only, the new tracer study enables us to quickly simulate concentration of gas contaminants into an existing carrier fluid. It can be easily set up by using the easy step-by-step -step wizard. Now much of the usual tracers are available, including CO, NO, H2 etc. But these can be created manually from the engineering database if required. After our initial conditions, gas contaminants and emissions are defined. You can directly run the study directly from the wizard. Once the calculation is done, you can visualise the airflow and the contamination concentration profiles. From the cut plot, cut plot we can actually see the path of the carbon monoxide based on the parameters that have been added to our listing. With this configuration of one outlet we can see that a pocket of gas is being retained just under the ceiling. If we wish to make a change to our design, for instance if we want to change to our uh, other configuration which has two ventilation outlets Using tracer studies, it's incredibly fast and simple to investigate these changes to the design. In this scenario, we can see that the two outlets will reduce the carbon monoxide by a factor of four. The new post-processing options help us understand more about what's going on in the system and more accurately and faster than ever before. Just going to show this temperature plot on here and we can just dynamically drag that about. We can also dynamically adjust the position of the pallet. We can change the number of callouts and also the size of it. Also we can edit the colour and change the appearance of the plot to give a better visual feedback of our temperature distribution. If we go to our flow trajectory, if we actually show our flow, The new dynamic highlight actually helps us distinguish between multiple results on the screen. Finally, within our trajectory, we have a new crop option. And this allows us to specify a 3D box, uh, which can give us better visualization when required.
Let's zoom in and we'll just play that flow. Hopefully you can see in 2012, Flow Simulation with its host and array of new functionality will give engineers a lot more feedback and information to design better products more safely and more accurately.